I'm so scared. Your face my eyes. I think because I'm scared. You uh uh. I'm fucking scared, right? Nine. I think it shouldn't be bad. Like one, two, three. Let's go. could pop the shampoos outside which is probably a good idea yeah because when we turn 25 we gotta pop some is this fucking champagne bro because i wouldn't know let me see it's fucking sparkling wine bro i wanna look as this zinc because i am drinking at home i must remain i almost said we we must remain as respectful at all times or we'll be homeless. So, if you want to go to Wainshili, Lana, Nayuna, because Shell, <laughs> behind the pillar, bitch. Can I just confess that I don't know how to open this? I've never opened a bottle of anything. Okay, a bottle of vodka. Guys, it better not pop and go somewhere. Hey? Okay, let's try. Let's see how people do this. I'm quarter to like googling how people open these things. Okay, let's see. But it looks like it's actually self-explanatory or whatever. Is that the proper proper term? I'm gonna pour it in this glass because I don't want to see through one. It's so corny, but my friend is on for it for me five years ago, if not four years ago. So this is what we're going to use. Shit. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so scared. Young Taylor. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so scared. Okay, wait. As long as it's not pulling next in this house, bitch, because... I'm so scared. You guys are... I think... I'm scared, you uh uh. I'm fucking scared, right? Oh, give me it. Oh, no. I think it shouldn't be bad, like. Oh my fucking god! They're gonna kill me! No way, I'm not gonna kill me. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Those who love me call me Mazet, those who hate me call me Mazet. But either way, subscribe to the channel and join the family. Okay? Because we're off to a rocket start. Please just subscribe because we're off to a rocket start. But we are turning 25 today. Today's the 3rd of December. Fuck, bitch. No, sorry, it's because of that strong smile. This is not bad. So today I just wanted to make a, a video that's so fitting. Since I'm turning motherfucking 25. But today's video is all about 25 lessons I have learned thus far. 25 things I've learned about myself. Disclaimer. It's raining outside, so I apologize for this funny sound. And I'll also be having this wine and pizza. From pizza perfect my first thing i wrote down was relax like one thing about me i will panic because one thing about me i stress and i try to control a lot of things even when you can't you can't always be in control of things some things just i mean exhibit a is the motherfucking bottle point number two is leave alcohol yakshula and the next point is learn to shut the fuck up sometimes this is me this is all for me what i've learned this is not me telling you how to shut the fuck up no this is me saying i should learn to shut the fuck up sometimes honestly guys i think this more than anything should be 
applied with people that I love. But if I'm honest, this should be applied when I'm speaking to my mom. And sometimes it gets to a point where I get so angry, I can't. Now, and now it's like, oh, you wanna go there? We can go there. The next point is, in the same breath, stand up for yourself. People only treat you the way you allow them to treat you. Point blank period. There's no if, but, or however about it. The next point is, sometimes you just have to choose to be grand. Said by the wonderful Londek and Kapo, bro. Like, like sometimes you're not grand, bro. Like, yo. Like, it's gonna make sense, but it's it's also another point. But I'm someone, if you hurt me, I live in my past, guys. Like, and I'm trying to change. But, like, sometimes I will wait for an apology. And if it doesn't happen, I'll be sour. I'll be happy for two seconds, but I'll, majority of the time, I'll be, like, sour. Because I'm not grand. So just just sometimes choose to be grand, bro. And understand good, not everybody's gonna see you. Good see that you're wrong. Release yourself from the shackles of wanting to be seen as a great person. Dumi says this all the time. Not Dumi. TJ. Dumi. Says this all the motherfucking time. It's raining. And it's because guys let me let me just give you a backstory on why I wrote this down, right? Especially in romantic relationships. We could have broken up, ne? but I still want I want like I will still leave that door off. You can talk to me, you can call me. And actually I don't if I'm honest, I don't really care for it. Like you can call me and be like, hi Zanel, I just wanted to know who's he is x times x is an x squared like you can ask me things like that because i have never left in it just just it hasn't if i left was because of something i felt like it was something that i needed to leave for i have to remind myself Kuti, if they wanted you to say only amazing things about them they would have acted better they would have done better they would have done highly great things but they didn't and even if like we don't have to like we don't have to like give each other side eyes in public but we also don't have to kiki and now you must come check and make like, open up space for the next one bitch learn to say immediately no your anxiety is lying to you push through guys sometimes them i don't even do things because my heart starts beating so fast i try to incorporate what mal robbins says it's 54321 do it Next point is, Puma Ebantwini, they will always have an opinion. <laughs> People will always have something to say. Always. This is your one life. So you don't get to rehearse. So imagine, I had to ask myself, actually, Guti, what's causing your anxiety, Zanin? It's because you're focusing on what other people are saying about you. I bet. Now that I know that, how about I focus on my damn self? I've realized that I don't care for fucking pictures. I'm a videos kind of girl. Stop living in your past. There's nothing else left for you there. Except memories and whatever. As I live in my past. I've already said this previously. If it was up to me, I wish everybody would see when they did someone wrong. I'm not saying this is always going to be the case. But an apology goes a long way. If you just say, Nice, Zanelli, Ngakodisa. It's almost like a switch. It's almost like you do this. And it's done. Buried. I might not forget about it, but I'm not going to keep, like, rehashing it in my head. But if you don't say sorry, it's like, excuse you. Excuse me. Shoot, I'm crazy. Shoot, you don't see what you did was wrong. Excuse me. Shoot, I'm a boost to you. Like, I get so angry. Just say sorry, bro. Like, and, and we can move on. So, learn to move on without an apology mm. with regards to men learn to close your ears and watch what they do i heard this from k republic and i never look back guys if the words and the actions don't correspond you're wasting your time love next point is it might just be mandatory to forgive yourself every day actually sorry guys about that i got a call from my sister you know my phone been blowing up work hard apply yourself I learned this the hard way, child. When I was in varsity, I failed. What is it? What's this thing? Software design. I think three or four times. 
and if i'm honest guys it wasn't fading because i was applying myself and i was trying so hard and i was fading no no no, no. if you know software design you know Wuti, you basically have to practice it's like mathematics it's like driving a car you have to practice you have to it's programming so i felt that shit that i felt that motherfucking bitch three to four times i can't remember because that's a part of my life i choose to forget but um <laughs> what i will say is this i started passing when i took i'm a classes i'm seeing me see and i was paying for my tutoring lessons and i was practicing i started to understand all these things that i didn't fucking understand three times before because before i thought i was just gonna cover up some chunk and pause bitch no believe in yourself trust yourself do it afraid you will only be able to enjoy the journey if you're putting in the work you might run to fucking live live your life don't just exist the next point is your parents are human the first time i heard that i heard it from what is it k republic i might not always agree with the choices that they make or how they handle certain situations or how they act if it was up to me i would absolutely love to pick and change they're doing the best that they can with the tools they were dealt they're just like you but just older and you're like but why don't you understand this this is what i'm asking don't do this i need this show me love like this show me support like this and you don't get it and it's like it's this back and forth of i don't understand why you don't understand learn to open up that's where real intimacy is Ooh. i can't even imagine a relationship where the other person knows your deepest darkest secrets because i always think if it doesn't work out now you know that for free i need to open up learn to open up but only with people that have shown me worthy and that deserve such intimacy from me because fucking some dick and hair from across the street is not going to get that from me i mean how they treated you is closure enough you don't need nezra said this the best you don't need them to tell you how it made you feel because you lived it you don't need them to tell you what it was wrong and they're sorry they hurt you you know they hurt you you know because you lived it so the way they treated you is closure enough closures for your wigs don't be so serious drop the resting bitch face i think that's just basically how i protect myself from unnecessary conversations since you know better do better when you know better you should try and do better because you know better you know better than 25 23 year old zanella motto who was in sort of the same situation if that bitch's nigga acted like that when you were 15 okay not 15 bitch when you were 21 and they show you kind of like the same patterns when you're 25 you know better you've seen this before so do better now you gotta leave bro the last two points are you can't force people to do the work you have to love them where they are let me make an example i'll make an example with something that i don't really like to talk about like about with regards to my mom and dad my mom my mom does not like to apologize she'll apologize like your typical black parent with stuff right but i need to hear that i'm sorry so that lets me know you know you were wrong accountability that's what sorry i am sorry represents to me not i understand the buying me stuff but i need to hear it from you so my mom will not say that right i'll say this a million times just say sorry bro my dad is emotionally closed off oh by far today is my birthday 3rd of december i'm driving out the the house he says because it don't you don't say happy birthday to me so he drives in as i as i'm about to drive off because i was going somewhere else he calls me so i'm thinking he wants me to get him something he's like hello and he just saw me literally two seconds ago he's like um hello happy birthday and i'm like 
but you just saw me like you just like you just saw me you could have just said happy birthday then to my face it would have meant so much more to me the last and final point of the 25 points lessons everything that i've learned up until this far is it is a blessing to experience you it is such a blessing to experience you don't let people treat you like it isn't you know how many people wish they could actually be around you have a conversation with you laugh with you know if you brush your teeth first or if you drink water first in the morning know the little things about you just experience your energy just talk to you so when people treat you like it's not an experience or not a, a blessing to be around you oh cut that shit please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join the family and share the video thank you to everyone who's watched up until the end to 25 Cut over century 25. <laughs>